Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Gene Burke. Over the weekend, Kentucky and surrounding areas suffered damage from heavy storms and tornadoes. Just two years after twisters devastated South Central Kentucky, the emotional toll from this past weekend's severe weather is once again in the spotlight. WBK reporter William Battle went to Life Skills to talk about how these storms have changed the way some of us react to severe weather. The tornadoes in the December of 2021 were definitely profound and, and devastating for the community and a lot of people still struggle with pieces that we as, as clinicians could classify as symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD, and which is very common after traumatic events. The scars from the December 2021 tornadoes are still very fresh for many in the region and the storms that hit the area this weekend awakened a collective anxiety in the community. Even as a, a licensed clinical social worker, it, it's almost that I have to remind myself of, of what I'm experiencing and feeling is okay. I'm a little bit more hypervigilant of, of winds and, and the sounds and stuff. The threat of severe weather has become a triggering event for many, bringing back vivid memories and intensifying anxiety and other negative emotions. I think the biggest takeaways are reminding yourself that it's okay to feel however you're feeling. If it's just a, a fleeting thought that you're having about it and that's it, that's okay. If you're spending hours thinking about it, that's okay too. Everyone kind of copes differently. She emphasizes the importance of seeking professional help for those struggling with the psychological aftermath. What we want to, to point out is if it is impacting daily functions and, and it's becoming a part of your everyday piece, that would be a, a, a hallmark to reach out to a, a professional whenever you feel comfortable to or utilizing the crisis lines. Both support and time play a pivotal role in both physical and mental recovery following disasters of any kind. Property and values can be replaced and, and remodeled and refixed, but emotions and th those lasting thoughts aren't so easily easily healed. Some of them take a little bit longer than others, and that's okay. It's it's that person's individual journey it looks a little bit different, but we're all kind of on the road together. As communities begin to rebuild this week, we should be aware of the invisible damage we can't see and help our neighbors recover from those as well. Reporting in Bowling Green, William Battle, WBKO News.